Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the agonistic behaviors in animals. The agonistic behaviors are those behaviors which involve confrontation, aggression, threat displays, attacks and fights between animals. Such behaviors are displayed by individuals of many animal species. The reason for such behaviors is the limited resources, that is, limited food, limited shelters, and limited mates. The agonistic behaviors are usually used only to intimidate the enemies. They are usually not lethal. Fight hoti hai animals mein, lekin ek dusre ko maarte nahi hai. These behaviors are seemingly, zahari taur ke upar ye behaviors, anti-social behaviors hai. Lekin they are still important in maintaining social order, in maintaining the territories, and in maintaining the dominance hierarchies. There are two types of agonistic behaviors. First are the territorial behaviors and second are the dominance hierarchies. The territorial behaviors include territorial ownership and defense. Ek jaga par kabza karna aur phir uski hifazat bhi karna. This is territorial behavior. Territory jo hai ye ek aise fixed area ko kehte hain jis mein ek animal apna zyada tar waqt guzarta hai aur us area ko apna samajhte hue uski hifazat bhi karta hai aur usme apni species ke kisi other member ko jaane ki ijazat bhi nahi deta. The territorial behavior is found in most social animal populations for example territorial behavior insects may crustaceans may fishes may amphibians may lizards may birds may mammals may or humans may in tamam types ke animals may territorial behavior paya jata hai now we shall discuss the purposes of territorial behavior the first purpose of territorial behavior is to occupy a defined territory for breeding as it is the main purpose of male birds and mammals. Males actively defend their occupied area against other males. A male jo apna ek territory bana leta hai, wahan par he attracts a female, then performs courtship and mating without interference. Another purpose of territorial behavior is to occupy a territory with abundant food supply. Another purpose is to occupy a territory that provides shelter to the animal from predators and unfavorable climate. Dear students, now we shall discuss the dominance hierarchies. Dominance hierarchies are the organization of groups in such a way that some members of a group have greater access to resources, for example, to food and to mates, than the others. Some animal groups show dominance hierarchies in which some individuals are considered at the top of the order. Kuch members ko ala samjha jata hai. Or they have the first choice of resources. Wo members jo ke is hierarchy ki bottom par hote hain, they do not guess, get sufficient access to resources. Is tarhe ki hierarchies exist in many vertebrate groups.